So before we come uh, uh, to to the, to the main part of the presentation, we'll we'll just come up with what is Jinko. I'm sure most of what, uh, most of you know what Jinko is. Uh, so so as in today, we are the largest uh, uh, solar panel manufacturing company in the world. Uh, we have a capacity of uh, uh, more than 6.5. This is a slightly old presentation, but uh, this year we are projected to do around uh, uh, 8 plus gigawatt, and we have around. Uh, uh, six global factories and most of them are in China. Uh, in India, we are we have, we have done uh, uh, a lot of installations. But I think what differentiates Jinko from a lot of other companies is, apart from the big size, is that it is a very financially stable company. Uh, it has very stable uh, debt equity ratios, and uh, uh, banks really put Jinko as uh, top of the heap when it comes to the discussions around bankability. So, but but you know, this presentation is more about uh, uh, telling you about the product roadmap. And uh, uh, some guys in the market were saying, you know, panel is a commodity. There is no difference between a tire O and tire two and a tire three guy. So, so maybe maybe just kind of discuss some of these things with you. Uh, so again, this is uh, I mean, this is our uh, this is what we keep on saying in every presentation that uh, please don't look at uh, the cost. Just look at the levelized cost of energy. I mean, th this is our st standard. Uh, uh, talk every time and uh, to be very to be very frank I, we, we hope it changes in the future because right now everyone is just looking at capex no one really looks at the, uh, the, the the levelized cost of energy so IRR depends primarily on the yield which is uh, the revenue the, the more the yield if, if you get more yield for the same capex obviously your LCV goes down okay even if I can if I, even if I can get five percent more energy using spending the same capex I mean I hope you agree that the LCV will go down but uh, even though we speak about these things, I think in implementation, uh, it, it is still around two, two, two steps forward. M maybe this is something we'll start doing in the future. There's cost reduction. Obviously, cost reduction is very important. Nothing to do with yield. Uh, can I get, can, can I inst in, install the same one megawatt by spending less money? And nothing to do with yield. C can I spend less money? Can I spend less money and install the same one megawatt? That is, that is the cost reduction. Cost of finance, nothing to do with us, but uh, it has, it has suddenly come to discussion because of these really low bids that, that are coming. I mean, is it Islamic funding? Is it is it funding from a uh, US? Is it funding from some very uh, cheap banks? I mean, all sort of talks are going on, and, and I wish someone would have spoken of this in the morning. But we are no expert in this, so 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 cost of finance is obviously something that goes into uh, reducing the LCOE, LCOE, and then obviously risk mitigation. Uh, you know, banks in India are uh, too. I mean, the word probably is not to use naive, but banks really just think about a tire one list from Bloomberg and you know these are the 30 makes uh, that uh, we approve of and to be very frank if you google tire 2 Bloomberg you will not get any result so it seems that almost everyone has now made into the tire one list so it, it is hard to find a tire 2 list so so really is there is there a risk that we can address by thinking which is which is which is the right module for it and all these things will now go into something that uh, is there in the middle called as IRR so we'll start off with the uh, what what is Jinko to offer to the Indian market our standard product, it is the Eagle series, which, which is a standard polycrystalline module. Uh, and, and, and this is what, uh, this is our bread and butter in India. I think uh, the 72 cell module, as you know, is, is more preferred nowadays because of capex compared to the 60 cell module. But really, is, is panel really a commodity? I mean, if we just blow off a panel, this is what a panel looks like. I mean, I, I can see probably eight to nine or maybe even 10 to 13 components of a panel. And every every part of the panel has 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 a specific job to do. I mean, the biggest faults. I mean, can anyone guess which is the most faulty thing? Which is which is the biggest fault that can come after five years of a panel service in the field? Anyone wants to make a guess on that? Which of these parts do you think is is is, is the number one uh, uh, claims? Uh, actually, probably not for us cells. Maybe yeah. I think a lot of bypass diodes will uh, will 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 get shorted simply because you know there was a huge reverse current from the from the next string and then the bypass diode uh, got shorted. Uh, a lot of that it has to do with backsheet. To be very frank, you you will see in five years the biggest uh, problem you will see in fields is is, is backsheet. That that is the number one fault in the market and uh, uh, even reputed companies are experimenting now with new backsheets that have really not been in the field for more than two or three years. So, so Jinko has this fellow, yeah. What is the normal life of a panel? So you're from which company? So I'm doing my own. So I'm doing my own. Okay, okay. 
Yeah, so, so you know that the standard warranty is uh, 25 years, but the design life is 30 years. 25 years? Yeah. I think cells, I have not, to be very frank, I have not seen too many issues with cell. I mean, cell probably will affect more on the performance side. No, it's all, it's all made in China. I mean, the panel sales, everything is made in China. Yeah. Can I have a request? If you have any questions, if you can jot them down and keep them for the end of the session so we can just quickly, otherwise, uh, lunch will start moving further away. So, so you see, so I think backsheet is the number one problem. We see a lot of breakages with glass. People are coming up with thinner glasses, and the mechanical strength of these glasses is, is less. We also see a lot of uh, uh, problems of hot spots, and hot spots will happen because of soldering. Uh, which, which will happen at, at because maybe the interconnects are not soldered properly at the right temperature in the right way. So, so I hope you agree. You know that someone when says that uh, uh, you know it's a journalistic approach to say that there is no difference between all, 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 all of them because you know you have four tires and a steering that's the same as a Maruti and a Mercedes. But but the fact is that there is a big difference. I mean, why would Jinko use a high end back sheet and why would a competition use a cheaper back sheet? Obviously to save money. So, so, so this is quite common sense, but, but somehow, you know, when we buy module, then maybe, you know, the heart reigns over the head, but uh, there's a lot of differentiation between the modules and it is still not a commodity. So what is the products that we are giving up? So uh, the 1500 volt module is, is going to be the de facto standard, maybe in another six months. So anyone wants to make, make a guess on how much uh, maybe string combiner boxes can you save by using a 1500 compared to a 1000 volt module? Is it a one half saving? Is it a one third saving? Yes, exactly. So you so you'll have a one third so you have a one third saving on everything. You'll have a one third less string combiner boxes. You'll have a, a, a one third less cables which run from every array back to the string combiner box. So so I think this product is becoming very uh, popular. Maybe in six months you will see around uh, six to seventy percent of installations on the fifteen hundred volt module. But obviously the inverter guys have to catch up on this, which is really the main bottleneck. Yeah, this is this is something exciting. So so Jinko is launching the 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 perk module, and if if some of the EPCs are uh, looking at high efficiency modules, you can talk to us after the show or maybe in in, in the lunch break, and uh, we are launching the high efficiency perk module. And uh, uh, so so there is only one manufacturer in the world that makes machines for perk. It is Meyerbergs. It is a European company, and and that is again is is, is the next bottleneck. So using perk, we can increase the efficiencies from current levels to around ten percent more, like in, in in the same surface area. So, so typically for a two square meter panel, wherever we are right now, we can give around 10% more. That, that is the beauty of Burke. So if, if technically more, the, the yellow thing that you see is more like a dielectric on, on, on the bottom of the panel. This is more like the dielectric. And uh, so, so if, if there is any light that goes to the dielectric, it can get absorbed and create more current. That's how the efficiency goes up. So this is the Perk panel. Um, I think 2018 is the big year for the Perk panel. Uh, the bifacial panel, another interesting thing that is coming in the market, more, uh, I think more, more, more juice for the rooftop guys to sell in the residential market for bifacial. Uh, so this is a cell, this is a cell which is having cells on the front side as well as the back side. But, but then a lot of people are confused what really is the application. So, so we can talk about uh, this later on when, when we meet up in maybe in the office or, or some other place, but, but even for utility guys, I mean, why not uh, have a east west facing instead of a south facing thing? If we have a east west facing uh, bifacial panel, when the sun goes in the east and, the, and then goes to the west, we can harness more energy. And the cost is really not double. It is, it is slightly more, but it is not double. So, so this, this is something that we are still exploring in the deserts. Uh, we, we have put some test sites in, in, the, in the deserts, and I think around 30% is, is, is roughly what the, the extra energy that you will get from a bifacial panel. And, and there is definitely a, a business case for this. Uh, it depends on the tariff you are in. Yeah, so what, what else beyond the solar panel? So, yeah, I think. Uh, it's quite interesting, you know, that uh, everyone keeps on overloading the inverters. I mean, we meet we meet guys who are overloading to forty percent. Some guys are saying thirty percent. But you know, what what is the method to the madness? I mean, there has to be some calculation behind it. So, so Jinko will work uh, closely with you because we don't think there is a there is a there is a one 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 thumb rule to say that you know it is forty percent or thirty percent. It really depends on the radiation. If if I was at Badla, where I know that the radiation will be between thousand to eleven hundred, will be quite high. I would probably never load it too much. But, but if I was there at Karnataka, where I know that the radiation is probably around 700 watts per meter square, I'll think about overloading it. So, so what we are helping customers is that, uh, uh, so, 
So if, if, if you look at the Excel table, what we are doing is that uh, for, for different scenarios, we are uh, trying to help the customer in an understanding that for this particular location, how much is the overloading that you can do the in, to, to the invert, inverter. So, so we are going into the module plus business out here. Wait. Um, yeah, I think performance data. I think uh, last eight years I have been in solar. I've never seen any. I've, I've seen people talk about data all the time, but uh, no developer, no EPC has ever come and said that this is my data from the site. Never, never happened. But uh, so, so we, we, we talk about how it should be done, but the results and the graphs ne never seen it. Because you know, I always hear the, 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 the ABB great inverter, but then the SCADA broke down. My stuff is in CDs. It was in hot climate. The CD burnt. I've, I've seen all crazy stuff about uh, not, not getting the data. And uh, I, I've, seen, I've, I've seen really big plants which are not able to give us the data. But here is what we can do. Uh, we, we, if, if, if you have a detailed data, and when I mean detailed data, I, I mean the weather data and the generation data and the temperature, you can come to us. Don't tell us the panel name, but we can run expected versus actual PR simulation for you. Okay, the, the, the real right way. Okay, we, we can do it for you. Because when people often take the expected PR, they take the NASA value and the actual value is the actual weather file. So there's a big, big, big disconnect between the, the weather data. So, so we can help you do that, yeah. Yeah, degradation. Yeah, a lot of people are assuming uh, a lot of uh, aggressive degradation numbers, but uh, we can help you with software. But, but again, the key is data. This is something that we have done for an Indian customer. And uh, so, so, so just to understand this graph on the, on, on the x-axis, you have uh, the data for several months. This is probably around three years data. And, and this is a really, really minute data of 15 minutes. On, on the y-axis, uh, the customer was able to tell us uh, the instantaneous uh, power and we converted that into STC. And, and now the black line is the warranty. Actually over a period of time, what should be the panel uh, output based on the warranty that we give you. And, and, and the yellow line is the degradation over a period of time. And as you can see, it is a slope. So, so we can tell you that what is the expected degradation of the panel over a period of time. So, 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 so Jinko can help customers in this by going beyond the panel. I think the desert solution will become uh, more and more uh, prominent because uh, solar panel is really not a commodity. Uh, Badla is a really different geography. It is a uh, uh, dry climate, extremely hot. You cannot have the same panel as, as a commodity put into a, a place like Rajasthan. You will have anti-cleaning, uh, anti -cleaning, uh, air coating, special air coating, special uh, uh, EVAs, special back sheets to go for Badla. You, you cannot put a commodity into Badla. All, all, already too many claims there. So, so we are we, we are working very aggressively to have uh, uh, some special uh, uh, products uh, to 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 for, for a climate like Badla. Maybe a little expensive, but uh, it it will justify the premium. Yeah. And then we, we are helping customers analyzing the local data. I mean, this is something for, for a typical desert. And what I want to show you is that between 1100 to 1200 watts per meter square, you'll have probably around 4% of the annual energy is still there, which we can or cannot harness depending on the bomb that we select. Yeah, so this is what we do. What does all this mean to the developer? I mean, this is a Gujarat SLDC data all online. And you can see that some plant was at the same time, some plant was working at 20% uh, you can call it as a P, roughly as a PLF, not, not exactly as a PLF. It is the instantaneous value versus generation. Some was high, some was some was high, and some was low. So, so, so really, I mean, different panels behave very differently. And you can just go online and, and go to Gujarat SLTC. Yeah, this is the final presentation, uh, the final slide. So, what we are saying is that a two percent extra energy yield will not lead to two percent extra error. It will be more because they are not a linear function; they are an exponential function. Yeah, and, and, and the developers know it quite well. Yeah. Yeah, this is all from us. Thank you so much. Hope to speak to you. Thanks.